so in the last video we have built our entire validation model of the user okay so whatever data user are providing at the time of creating account we are validating those data okay in this video we're going to encrypt the password because you have seen that we have stored the data basically password in our database as it is okay but that's not the good idea that you have to store the password as it is you have to always encrypt the password okay so that's what we're going to do in this video okay so let's come here we're going to use it the pre-hook okay so we know that we have available this method which we have already discussed in our nft model okay the same logic we're going to follow here we're going to use a method we're going to use as a hook okay so we have the schema we're going to call this pre-hook method and in that we're going to call this save method because obviously the user will create an account so it's going to be have a save okay and it's going to be have a normal function because we want to have the this keyword so if we'll say if this dot is modified and can you guess that why i have called this method that is not modified because we want to run this function at the time of creating account okay but what if a user wants to update their account on that scenario we don't need to run this one okay i will simply get out of this function okay so i'll say if the account is not modified in that we have to specify we have to specify the password because that's what we're going to target we will simply return the next okay we want to get out of the functions we don't need to continue if the user have created the account and if they are updating but if they are creating account newly then we have to do something we have to encrypt okay so we have to execute the code here okay so let's come here and we have to install one powerful package which is called bcrypt okay so this is the package we're going to use which allow us to encrypt the password from the normal password to encrypted password okay so powerful tool okay so that's what we're going to install so let's type npm bcrypt okay bcrypt js so b-c-r-y-p-t js okay make sure to install the exact package hit enter and it's taking a little bit time and finally we install it and now we're going to use this password to sorry package to encrypt our password so first thing we have to import the package and it's called b crypt and it's coming from the same package okay so we have our package and now we're going to utilize it so now what we're going to do we're going to call this this dot password because that's the one we want to encrypt okay equal to we'll say brick crypt and we have this method called hash and in that we have to define that what we want to encrypt okay so we'll say this dot password okay because we have used this function for a normal function so we have access of this entire document so we have this keyword and that we are calling the function because we have to encrypt the password okay and that's the encrypted password we're going to store into our password okay so i hope this makes sense to all of you and here we have the method so we want to encrypt on the base of 12 okay so i'll say 12 the better the encryption will happen okay but the, if you define higher number it will take a longer time to encrypt the password okay so right now most of the computers are powerful but in the industry right now we follow this 12 because we don't want that it take too much time to encrypt the password but encrypt the password because it's a cpu intensive work okay so i'll go with the 12 i'll show you with both 16 okay but just go with the 12 right now because it's a synchronous behavior so we have to call it await and we have to convert this function into async function okay because we're going to deal with the promises okay so now it will work fine and now what i want is let me let me come here and i want to i don't want to store the confirm password into my database okay i just want to use it for the validation process but i don't want to store that so i'll have this this i'll say confirm password and i will say undefined okay so it will not store in the database so that's the entire model we have okay so we are using to validate and once the validation get over we don't need to store into our database so that looks pretty good to me now now things are looking good now we have to call this next and this will say the check the modified this will encrypt the password so it will say hash password and this one simply delete the confirm password okay so these are the three process three section we have into this function okay so hope this makes sense to all of you guys now let me show you in actions okay so here we are back on postman now what i want to do is let's bring this up and let's try to create account you can see here we have created an account and you can see the password is encrypted now okay so the original password is pass one two three but we got the encrypted password and this is the password it got stored into our database so this is what you have to follow you should always encrypt the data 
sensitive data into a database okay you can encrypt anything you can encrypt the name emails it's totally up to you but here i just try to encrypt the password okay not anything else you can do a lot of things with this okay so this is the encrypted password success things are looking too good to me you can see this is the time it took because we have used 12 it took curls to like five six seven millisecond to execute this entire process okay but if i come here and if i instead of 12 if i type 16 okay if i type 16 it will take too much time okay and here i have to do the changes in the email the password is still same i'll add this and if i make a request you can see it taking a little bit time because it's extensive cpu work like the higher the number the better the password will encrypt okay finally it got encrypted and it took nine seconds okay took a lot of time so okay it's a very cpu extensive work but i will go with 12 i don't want to hang the user there okay and that's why we have used this synchronous behavior because we have to deal with the promises so that looks pretty fine to me and if you refresh the server a uh, sorry our compass you can see we got the password which is encrypted I believe that you guys are really appreciating this that how beautifully things are coming together okay so this is how you can encrypt the password and store it into a database okay that looks pretty fine to me and you have noticed one thing that we have provided the same password for all the user but we have got different encryptions output and that's the power of the bcrypt.js okay so no matter you the password is same but the output you will get the string you will get it's totally be different from one another okay so that looks pretty fine here we have all of these let me delete this one delete all these existing data and right now we don't have anything in our user and that's the power of this so we so we are we have used this hook to encrypt the password before it's safe to our database and that's why we call it pre-hook okay so i hope these things make sense to all of you guys this is the very important concept which you have to move your head around just watch this over and again and again and try to understand that how things are going on okay come here change with this play with this different values here so right now we are using 12 and 16 use with play with different value different data and try to test that what are the things you can encrypt okay and that way you will learn better okay so that's the pre-hook we have this looks pretty good to me now let's come back to the auth controller and that's what we have here so this is the user body and with this i remember that this is not the way you should create a user because if you do in this way what will happen that whoever will create an account into our api they can become an admin okay those who will create their account they can become an admin but this is not what i want okay so we have to change this behavior so simply replicate this and here we have to define the entire data so all the data we have inside this reg dot body okay so here we go to define explicitly that what data we want to take okay so you have two options you can create a separate route for the admin so they can come to the separate route and they can create an account and if they create from that route they can become an admin okay but we're not going to do anything like that because if you are an admin of an api you can simply log into your database and you can change the role from there okay so you have both options but here i want to pass only a couple of data not more than that okay so i'll say name is required and we have this name in the name body we have the email in the body dot email we have the password here in the password and we have this confirm password okay and this all data is we have inside this body okay so we are saying only these data no admin nothing all okay no roles we can easily if we want to assign role and admin to any one of these user we can do it from the database but not from here okay so that's the way you have to follow not the other one otherwise things become very complicated and anybody can become an admin and your api will be in trouble okay so that looks fine to me and that's the only thing i want to cover in this video i hope whatever we have covered in this video that makes sense to all of you guys how we are using the pre-hook to encrypt the password before we are storing into our database so that's the only thing i want to cover let's move to the next video